Hello guys, Lunar here, and welcome back to another video for Modern Warfare and Warzone. And in this one, I want to talk about all the changes made in today's update via the new patch notes. The update itself is around 12 gigabytes, so it's a bit of a big one, especially because there are not too many changes to go over. On PC, players can now uninstall content that they are not playing, like you can already on console. So that's the campaign and spec ops, for example, and that will save you a ton of space. And that feature is available on PC after you update the game. There's a playlist update, and of course, there are plenty of bug fixes. First guys, help me reach 500 likes and subscribe, and we can jump into it. So a new playlist update has been added. To Modern Warfare, there is now Ground War, Gunfight, Deathmatch Domination and Drop Zone, Gun Game Team Deathmatch, and HQ Firefight. That's where teams can add to their score by capturing the headquarters and also by getting kills. So that is a new one that was added for this season. To Warzone, they're removing blood money quads and adding plunder quads. There's no other changes to the main Warzone playlist. It's still solos, duos, trios and quads, and it's still Armored Royale, which is what I am playing in the video. Moving on to the actual patch notes, there are a couple of weapon changes. They've increased minimum damage at range on the Car 98 in Warzone, so that should make it a bit of a better weapon. And they've also reduced the minimum damage at range on the SPR 208 in Warzone. Again, that should make it a bit of a better weapon to use in the game. For other Warzone fixes, they've added a fix to help improve volume levels with war track sliders, fix to help prevent players from dying while completing the subway puzzle, fix for a bug where players might not be able to access Bunker 11, fixed a gas mask bug where players attempted to complete the station puzzle. Fixed for a bug where using a self-revive near the doors on the subway train, they will clip out of the train but still be transferred to the next station. Fixed for a collision bug near the entrance of the underground road on the west side of the airport. If a player dies after the doors close on a subway car, they will be pulled out of the gulag by the fast travel system and then pulled back into the gulag for a match once it's their turn. This has been fixed. Fix for an issue where the player's view could be forced to play moved when exiting a vehicle or parachuting. And fix the bug where the players could experience a crash after engaging with a bounty contract. Last but not least then, we have general fixes. Fix for an issue where the next unlock section was showing attachments out of order. An issue where teammates could spawn inside of a closed off room and broadcast. A bug where viewing the Nevermore execution in the menu could sometimes cause the animal model to get stuck. A bug where grenades could fall through the floor in the foreman's office while in Milster Tank Factory. A lighting issue with the Gilded Arm variant from the Season 6 Battle Pass. Fix an issue where players could experience a crash after reaching wave 45 or higher in survival mode and improve stability for PC. Alright guys, that is about it for this one. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, then leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And drop a comment below about what you think of the changes made in today's update. Like I said, there wasn't a lot of changes in this one, but the update itself is quite big at 12 gigabytes. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys again next time.